sits yeah, me three that, times today because I'm worried. <laughs> I'm fine! Don't tell me what to do. And I'm going, I'm not fine. <laughs> okay, so like with any behaviors, I will sit on the floor, I'll put the bag here, so I've got an easy access to the treats. I will also do this. So the dog can't escape and don't run away. And if that would be Harley, I'll bend up over there probably with a broken leg. But what you need to remember, like I always say to you, is when you've got the food in front of the dog, do you really think dog will be interested of going over there? He would be more interested in the food. Food is the biggest motivation in a human life and in the dog's life. Because if we're hungry, we can't think. If we're hungry, we can't do anything because we're too weak to do something. So when it comes to food, it's weakness that we've got and the dog has got, okay? So the first treat, I'll give it to Elsie to show it to her what I've got. Second treat goes on the floor with my fingers open so she can smell it, she can see it, but I missed that one. But the second she will look away, good girl, you pick up the treat off the floor and give it to the dog. Please don't feed your dog off the floor because you never know what's there on the floor. It could be chicken stuffed with rat poison. Mm -hmm. And if the dog will get that and you allow them to eat off the floor, then there's a problem. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, I'm not using any um, commands as always. Good girl. Elsie's not that greedy, by the way. <laughs> she's really not. No, she's not that greedy. She's not scratching at it, she's not whining. Now, the stage number two will be the, when the dog looks away from the food, you're going to open the food and show it to them. But the second they go back to that food, you close your hand again, okay? So watch this. You have to be very quick. There are dogs that, I love those two. It's like a naughty children in the class. Now, I do three times max, okay? And again, Good girl. You can see the process of her brain thinking already. She is already thinking what to do and what not to do. She is putting two and two together, what she can do and what she can't do. Good girl. Yeah. It's so simple that a lot of people don't realize. I'm going to put my hand here for you guys as well to make sure you can see it. So my fingers are open and now are open and cover it. And cover it again. And last time, good girl. Now, with this, I normally do three times, three times each. Sometimes the dogs will get it after the first set of three. Some dogs will get it after the second. Elsa really wants that chicken. So now we introduce the leave command. So when you cover back the food, you're going to say leave. 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 Good girl. <laughs> did you see what she did? She looked away, pretending she's not looking at the food, and the second she got the opportunity, she went straight to the food. This is kind of, is kind of they, they pretend to look somewhere else. We get dogs walk around other side oh, and try to get it. And again, leave, leave, leave. So we're going to do it on this side. Elsie. Daddy, you're going to be bad. 
leave, 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 leave. and sit, I'm praising her for the good leap because that's the most important one. And again, it's funny how she can do with this hand, but in the other hand she's struggling. Leave. 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 <laughs> good girl. This time I asked her to give me a kiss. Why not? Leave. 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 You see that? Keeps looking at my eyes now. Now I'm going to ask her to look again. And again. Yes, good. Good girl. So then, we would like to test your dog to this. <laughs> yes, you know it's that. So we're going to get him to sit. Leave. Leave. She thought about it. Leave. Leave. Good girl. And one more time. Elsie. Look. Sit. Come, come, come. How dare she come here? You tell her you disturbed your chicken session. <laughs> Sit. Leave. Leave. Why do we drop the food on the floor? that's what can happen at home. Because that's what's going to happen when you cook it. And I always, believe it or not, I do it on purpose. I always cut things and drop on the floor so to test my dogs to make sure they don't take anything. And the only way I say if I do allow my dogs eat off the floor, I will then teach them by giving them a command. So for example, one of the funniest ones that you can do is hoover up. Hoover. Let the hoovers out and the dogs can go and just hoover up the food. That's done by the command, but when you say leave, they're not allowed to touch it. So the dog then learns, every time there's food on the floor, they look at you and say, may I have it? And then it's your decision if you pick up the food and give them another treat, or you allow them to hoover it up or clean it up, or whatever you want to do with the food. I was very proud of my puppies. I went out with, obviously, our pack with a gang, and there was about 20 dogs, and we found a bread on the floor. The beauty was that my dogs went up to the bread, looked at the bread, and looked at me while other, other dogs were scoffing the bread completely. Mm -hmm. And then I just literally put a hand in my pouch and gave them loads of chicken instead of the bread that is moldy and is horrible. Okay, everyone happy with that? Let's start practicing.